We have a question about how to make a Moroccan lattice sort of like this one. And I was able to do that using the basic shapes, so I'll show you how. The uh, first thing that I did to get a reference picture in Make the Cut so I could kind of look at it to know what to do or, you know, what it should look like without having to remember. I got a copy of the one that was in the forum. And let's see, where did I put it? Moroccan texture. Well, I'll show you how I did it. I'll go to the Make to Cut forum and go to the discussion topic for the webinar under what questions do you have, and that's where you would post your questions. Then I right click on that image, save image as, and I'll just save it to my desktop. It's these numbers here. So then when I open Make the Cut, if I want to bring that image in, I can um, click on that file name here. I click on I'll, I'll do it again. You click on the pixel trace icon at the top of the screen. Then you find that file and open it. Now this one needs a little bit of, um, needs to be a little darker. I'll take the threshold up to 160. Um, actually, to get the picture, I'll do 255 and texturize and apply and then bring it in. So this is the image that we're going to try to do something similar. Well, I notice that this is an eight-sided star, and we have an eight-sided star in our basic shapes. So if I click on basic shapes and type in ST for star, help if I type right, and then there's an eight-point 8.2 star, which is what I want. So I'm going to double click it, bring it in. And then the other shape that is in here kind of looks like an arrow. So if I type in the AR, I can get all the arrows that are in here and find one that's kind of similar. Go to, if I go to all categories, and I know we have a bunch of arrows. Oh, I know it's called um, something else. Let me look at generic. It's called a chevron, I think. There it is, a chevron. It's under arrows. So I'll double click the chevron here. Now what I need to do is uh, make this, uh, I'll turn it up like this and uh, make it about one inch high. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll use it at this. So I'm going to hold Control Shift and click to get another one and rotate that around. And then I'm just going to um, use my arrow key to move it down some. Now I'm going to select both of these, Control and Shift and click to make another copy and rotate it around once. And then weld them all together and black out. So now I have this shape, but it's quite a bit bigger than this. So I'm going to make this shape one inch with my gold lock icon, type in one and enter, and it gets to be one inch just like this shape is. So now what I want to do is duplicate this first shape, um, edit, duplicate, and I'd like to put the spacing about 0.37, and I found that out just by experimenting. And I'll make uh, 10 rows, 
because that's how many the example has in apply. And then I'm going to put this one right about in the middle. I'm lining up the points kind of in between these shapes here. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this. I go to Edit, Duplicate, and keep the spacing the same. So now I have the pattern and, and apply. Now if I go to my virtual mat and select all of these, I can join them. And now I have a lattice of sorts that looks very similar. Let me make it smaller now so you can see that they look similar. Resize it. Now if I were to use wanted to use this as a lattice, I could I could use it as a stencil if I cut this out of a a, a box. So let's say I just add a box. I'll add a, a rectangle, square, and I'll change this to green so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to make this a little bigger. than my shapes are. Now if I select all of these and join the bottom center icon, now I have something that I could use even as a stencil that would look similar to what we have here. I can change it to any color. Maybe I want it to be gold. Now if I want to make room for a label of some kind, I can add that. Maybe I'll just go to basic shapes and maybe I have some labels in here. I don't know. There's one label. I'll just make this an oval. Oval. Generic oval. Now you can uh, size your oval any size you want or whatever shape it is that you decide to use for the, the middle of the design. I'm going to select all of this and type V to align it vertically. And then I'm going to do a, with, with it selected, I'm going to do an inset shadow. To do an inset shadow, I do a minus and then the size I want. So I use minus 0.2 and accept that. Now I'm going to bring that this uh, lattice to the front. I'm going to hide my original shape. No, I'm going to hide my shadow and take my original shape and I'm just going to weld these together. And then when I open center there. I can um, use that for my whatever I want to put on it. If I want to put a monogram or, or whatever, I have that available. So um, I can join all this and you can see now I have a frame. So I could lay this over a card with a cinnamon or something under it or I could uh, use it the other way, and that is just to lay this over the top. So either way it would work.